Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Mitch Hedberg. I wish they made fajita cologne. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hello. This is my second time on the show. All right. <laughs> that, means, that means the first time must have been okay. Right. But they, they say they during the summer that drinks are ice cold. I hope not, because that means they would be impossible to drink. Because they would be solid. <laughs> here's, a, here's a beer, man. It's just ice cold. Damn it. <laughs> I guess I can lick it. I guess I can lick I it. I that uh, uh, last year MTV's Real World got 40,000 applications. That's amazing, man. Such an even number. <laughs> <laughs> um... This is my second interaction with Mitch ever. Uh, and, you know, I can't tell if he is an artist, a comedian that overcomes, like, his anxiety. And that's why his delivery is the way it is. He's kind of shaky, doesn't make a lot of eye contact. Or if this is just simply, like, who he is. Um, either way, I enjoy the imperfect feel of his delivery. I feel like, you know, it doesn't feel super rehearsed and polished. It feels like he's just getting up and telling the jokes. And if they land, they land. If they don't, they don't. He just keeps going. Um, but it does feel to be some nervousness, which just makes him super relatable and um, lovable. You know, I don't know. That's, that's my take on him. I really enjoy him. <laughs> you would think it would be 40,008, maybe. Yeah, man. I got a lamp in my hotel room and it has a three-way light bulb. And if you don't know a light bulb is a three-way light bulb, it messes with your head. Because you go to turn it off and it just gets brighter. <laughs> like, damn it, light bulb, that's the exact opposite of what I want you to do. Then you turn it again and it gets brighter once more. I will break you. I will break you. <laughs> That's the only reason I had this thing out here. <laughs> For the light bulb bit. <laughs> yeah, like I love like his his delivery is not like the common, you know, standard com comedy, comedy, comedian. Wow. Wow. Am I okay? Comedic delivery. It's like, na -na 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 -na, na -na 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 -na. it feels like a surfer dude. I also love that he looks like he could also dub as a lead singer in a rock band. Hair, glasses, outfit, always. He looks like he can lead the next biggest thing in rock and roll. Oh, yeah, man. So I, I saw a commercial that said, forget everything you know about slipcovers. So I did. <laughs> And it was a load off my mind. <laughs> and the commercial tried to sell slipcovers, but I didn't know what the hell they were. <laughs> now, is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? hip -opotamus. Got it. See? He just got funny jokes. He's funny. Hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I want to rob a bank with a BB gun. Give me all your money or I will give you a dimple. <laughs> I will be rich, you will be cute. <laughs> I got a belt on that holds up my pants and my pants have belt loops that hold up my belt. What the, really, what the hell is really going on down there? Who is the real hero? What? <laughs> Now, if I was a drummer and I accidentally grabbed, uh, that'd be cool if you were a drummer and you accidentally grabbed uh, two magic wands instead of drumsticks. You're pounding out the beat. Next thing you know, your bass player turns into a can of soup. All right. All right. All right. Can we take that joke out? <laughs> I don't know if this man practices his stuff, but it feels like he doesn't. It feels so raw, like... He's just really 
throwing things to see if they stick. I love it. He just said, can, all right, can we take that one out? <laughs> can we take that joke out? <laughs> Dead serious. Can, can we edit it? I love cottage cheese. That's why I want to try other dwelling cheeses too. Dwelling cheeses? <laughs> I, I want to try studio apartment cheese. <laughs> or maybe igloo cheese. Or if I'm feeling adventurous, mobile home. Oh, y'all, it took me a minute. I'm like, dwelling, cottage as in home, and now he's naming other types of dwellings. I was late to the party, but I showed up, and that's all that matters. Or maybe igloo cheese. <laughs> or if I'm feeling adventurous, mobile home cheese. <laughs> Don't eat mobile home cheese during a tornado. It would be devastating. <laughs> Dr. Scholl makes foot products, and he's a doctor, which means he went to school for a long time, but it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. <laughs> that dude wasted lots of time at school. Because I would have bought that from a Mr. Scholl. You didn't need to put doctor in front of your name to convince me to get some padded cushions for my shoes. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> I wish they made fajita cologne, because that stuff smells good. <laughs> I hate to sleep, because... No, I like to sleep, actually. <sighs> I hate to dream, because dreaming takes energy. It takes work. Sleeping is supposed to be a relaxing affair. I lay down on a bed, it feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. <laughs> This is so true. I told my husband this morning, I feel like I had like 19 dreams and I didn't rest. And I overslept this morning. Like made my daughter late to school, I overslept because like dreams are exhausting. I totally agree. I totally agree with you, Mitch. They're exhausting. I bet it feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. <laughs> ex-landlord is wild. <laughs> hey, if you can't sleep, count sheep. Don't count endangered animals. You will run out. Facts. I bought a donut and they gave me a receipt for the donut. I don't need a receipt for a donut. I'll just give you the money, then you give me the donut and the transaction. <laughs> we don't need to bring ink and paper into this. I just can't imagine a scenario where I'd have to prove that I bought a donut. <laughs> Some skeptical friend, don't even act like I didn't get that donut. I got the documentation right here. <laughs> I saw this lady on TV, she was born without arms. She was born with her hands attached to her shoulders, and that was sad. But then they said, Lola does not know the meaning of the word can't. And that, to me, was actually kind of worse in a way. You know, not only does she not have arms, but she doesn't understand simple contractions. <laughs> like, the jokes are so simple, and I think that's what makes them so funny. Like, <laughs> what? In a way. You know, not only does she not have arms, but she doesn't understand simple contractions. <laughs> also, raise your hand in the comments if you think when someone names the character in their joke, it makes it funny. Like, the fact that we know her name is Lola for some reason makes it funnier. Versus him just saying, they said she. I don't know. Is that a, just a me thing? Raise your hand. Let me know. You know, not only does she not have arms, but she doesn't understand simple contractions. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Lola. That's hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Hendrick, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. See, like, he even felt like he, like, he's like, all right, I'm, that's enough. Like, he, there felt like there was some ang anxiety. Um, so let me know if y'all know anything about that or if I'm just reaching and trying to find uh, a reason to explain his quirkiness because he's quirky and I really enjoy it. I love, I think his just back-to-back -back jokes are funny. Um, all right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.